Hi, G Dog here from KeywordCandy.com. I'm going to walk you through today, kind of show you how to quickly set up All Day Sucker um, to get the spiders to come in and find your your pages and hopefully get your pages indexed out there on the different various search engines. Um, there are a lot a lot of features available within the tool. We're going to start from the left and move over to the right, and uh, starting with the Spider tab. So. I'll try to run through this quickly so this won't take forever, but I will try to show you some of the details here. Um, again, you know, obviously there, there are a lot of variations and variables here that you can choose from, but I just want to show you the basics for now. So the first thing you need to do is set up your base URL. And just to explain what this is, all these suckers are going to be looking for a, f a few key, key things when it pings out to the different ping directories. It's going to need a list of different pages on your site. It's going to need a title for each one of those pages and it's going to need a, a, a keyword rich description for each one of those pages. That's what it's going to need um, in order to ping out to these different directories. So rather than having to go through and manually write out the URL and the, the page name a page title and a page description for every page. The spider will do this in an automated fashion to help you much, much more quickly um, set up All Day Sucker to get ready for pinging. So, um, so you have to actually set up your spider and tell it how to create this, uh, these titles and descriptions and what pages to use. So uh, you can uh, manually provide a list if you like or you can use the spider to go out there and do that for you so first thing you need to do on the base URL tab of the spider of the main spider tab is click on the all URLs um, button here okay as you can see this secondary window um, what you're going to do is provide the base URL I have a demo site at xpqx.com uh, I have several cloaked sites set up there um, the cloak word for one of those sites is box. I'm going to tell All Day Sucker the first page that I want it to hit. And I'm going to use a keyword here, funnyjokes.html. That's the first page I want All Day Sucker to hit. I'm going to add that here. So now the spider will come in and hit this page and will follow links from this first page down into sub pages based on the settings that I provide um, later. You want to hit save to save this base URL. Now if you were so inclined you could use site URLs instead. This is a feature much like Slurl 2.0. Rather than using the spider to go out and find pages for you, you can create a list of URLs using a built-in um, uh, script that will do again much like Slurl 2.0 does. What it does, uh, what you would do to use this if you so chose to do so, uh, you would type in the, the URL and the cloak word and then you would click on browse here and you would browse for a file containing a list of all of your keywords or a number of keywords depending on how many pages you would like um, to ping. Provide 10 keywords to ping 10 pages or if you have 500 keywords you can provide them here and it will create automatically a list of 500 pages for you. Um, and then you would have to actually spider those pages. So, so okay, so we're not going to use that function though because we're just going to have it randomly go out and find the first 50 pages for us. So again, I'm going to have to save this to qx.com box. Add it, save it, and close. Okay, and now you can see that it reflects that we have one base URL. Um, if you were going to use that slurl like um, script, you would have to check here to use site URLs. Okay, now here's where you choose the limit, how many pages you want the spider to to hit. Um, might want to, I mean, I personally don't really see a whole lot of a need um, to spider or to ping more than five or five pages, as long as that gets the spider coming in, and it gets the spider to find your page. Um, but sometimes, you know, to get various different spiders to come in, you might want to spider several pages. So we're going to go ahead and leave this at 50. Okay, and we're ready to ready to uh, actually move on now to the 
uh, to explain to the spider how we want it to create the title and the description um, for each one of these pages. So on the meta title options tab, you can use the default settings or you can use the customized settings. By default, it's going to first find the H1 tag, which is a really good thing to do actually, or the H1 through H6, either one of those is good. And what that's going to do is the spider is going to look for the first uh, heading tag on your page and what it finds between those heading tags is what it's going to use as the title for that particular page. Um, you can also tell it to, say for example, go in order below until it finds something that works. So in this case it would move down the list, using first finding the first available word set and, if, and, and so on and so forth. So you're really better off using the default settings here or just using a heading tag. So we're going to use the well, we'll use this, the first H1 to H6 tag. Okay. Um, now we're going to move to the description. We're going to explain to the spider how to, to create the description. We're going to tell it to use the second available sentence. You could also use tell it to choose the first available word set, or the second available word set, and so on and so forth. Metadata, if your site happens to contain a meta description, a unique, well uh, made meta description that might be an option too. Um, the way that the word sets work is this. Uh, first available word set, you set this up here and you're going to say, well for the first available word set I just want the spider to find the first 100, 100 words on the page um, or the first 50 words on the page and that's what it would use as the description. The second available word set you might say find um, I don't know, say look f through a hundred words, uh, skip the first hundred words, and then the next 25 words will be the description, something like that. I prefer this top setting actually myself. Okay, the spider settings, these are just a few kind of, a uh, few settings that are not really that important other than this last one here. But the title, you might want your title to be in title case using all caps, or using the first letter of each word is in caps. Um, the pending dots out of the, after the description, <clears throat> these are not really significant to the effectiveness of the tool. By default, these are set. Um, now, run spider on application load. If you have all these suckers shut down and you open it, it will run automatically if you have this setting. Um, follow off-site links. By default, all day sucker spider will not follow off-site links. If you would like it to do so, you're going to have to have that setting set right there. Pop back over to the base URL tab and hit start. It's going to go through and spider the first 50 pages um, that it comes to. It's creating the title and the description for you as it goes. Quickly it's found 50 pages. We can pop over to the run tab now and see those pages listed out here. You got the URL and uh, the page name. Um, best knock knock jokes, humorous vids. Okay, so it's got a good title and description keyword rich description pulled from the page which is all good stuff so we're good to go now it's time to move on to these uh, remaining remaining tags so when you're ready go ahead and move on to the next video